regards to how can I better manage my time when writing paper 2 in engineering graphics and design and I promise you that this video is going to add at least 10 minutes to your time so pay attention as I walk you through some of my top tips when it comes to your final paper for engineering graphics and design. Now I do want to say the uh, basis of this exercise um, I've used last year's Engineering Graphics and Design Paper 2, November 2023. Now this paper, of course, is exactly the same with regards to the annual teaching plan and what you can expect, so it's a very good example. And I've done another video where I've actually talked you through this paper as well as a bunch of EGD master classes. So if you at all need extra support, head on over to the EGD master class playlist and have a look at those tutorials um, that will talk you through each and every question asked in paper two. Now for this lesson, uh, let me quickly have a, give you a breakdown of what you see and the secrets that I'm going to show here on the right hand side. Now, this paper is of course 180 minutes, three hours, you all know that, and 200 marks. If we look at the bro breakdown of those 200 marks, you're going to have a question one, which of course will be your mechanical uh, analytics. And 30 marks is the expected allocation for that question, which if we use that in relation to the 200 marks, gives you 27 minutes that you have to answer this question. Now, please, this is way too much. So forget about that. I'm going to help you out here. Then question two. That's, of course, the loci of a mechanism and or the loci of a cam. Uh, yeah, mechanism and a cam. Yeah, that's right. Now, the 38 marks that they've allocated there was 19 for the one, 19 for the other one. And 38 marks, again, in relation to 200 marks, gives me 34 minutes. Okay, it's close, but we can still make a plan here with this time. And then question three is, of course, you are symmetric. In the past, that's been 40 marks. Gives you 36 minutes. Um, and depending again on how quickly these things are drawn by you, we could ask another question on the time allocated there. And the last one, people, as you look at this, 92 marks is almost 50% of your paper in one question. And so please, this becomes a very important part of answering this actual paper. Now, um, what you all will have, and this is the gift, you all across the country you are getting 10 minutes in reading time, okay? Now, I have seen learners in other subjects using this 10 minutes to lay on their arms. People, this 10 minutes needs to be added for yourself to your 180, and you then, in fact, have 200 minutes to answer this question paper. That's where we have to start, 200 minutes to answer these four questions, because that reading time, in my mind, is actually already the start of your paper. If you do this right, if you spend this 10 minute reading and actually taking in what you're reading, you're going to have a lot of less pressure on this time frame here. And so I would like to suggest that that 10 minutes is spent in the first instance on question one, reading the mechanical and analytical and understanding fully what is the different components? If we look at that paper, um, just as a quick example, there is a lot of information on this. And part of your 10 minutes, after you've read through the others, come back to this page and study all the different details here so that when you get to answering the questions, even read each question and see already if you can find the answer for it. That just helps that when you have... Um, asking what is chain line at H, for instance, later on, that you can't not find H. Oh, there it is, okay? So take that time and read it carefully through. That goes for all of the others. So if you then have that 10 minutes reading time, that cuts this 27 minutes way down. And my proposal is that you have a watch next to you and that you time yourself. When they say start writing, you start that clock and after 15 minutes, you should be finished with question number one. If you are not finished, <coughs> I, I would hope that you have then not finished the difficult ones that you do not know. But the easy ones, make sure you fill them in firstly, and then the most more difficult ones, spend time on that. But at 15 minutes, you go on to question number two. And here, 
you spend 30 minutes on this question. Okay, you'll see now the sums, how it all works out. So 30 minutes on question uh, two, which is loci of a mechanism and loci of a cam. And I do want to say again, ladies and gentlemen, just watching YouTube videos or just putting your drawing board under your cushion and sleeping on it and thinking the next morning you're going to be able to draw, that is not how you're prepared for EGD. You need to draw, draw, draw in preparing to be able to draw these questions in 30 minutes. So it's 15 minutes for loci of a mechanism, 15 minutes loci of a cam gives you your 30 minutes. Question number four, guaranteed isometric Another 30 minutes. You need to be able to draw that in 30 minutes. If your time runs up, you end it and you continue to your assembly. This assembly then is a full 90 minutes that I suggest you use here. Because there's a lot of details that you need to make sure you understand, interpret and are able to draw. So if we use this then, that's an hour and a half. We're down to two hours and a half plus that 15 minutes. So that gives me to spare another 15 minutes. And now, if you've done that, then you can go back to either one of these four questions that you need that extra time with, and you apply it to optimize. Because by that time, you know exactly what you can answer. You'll know exactly, can I spend the best 15 minutes on finishing my symmetric? Do I spend these 15 minutes on the Lokis? Or maybe just coming back to the analytics or on the assembly? But this is crucial. This was my trick when I was your age and drawing these drawings. I leave myself 15 minutes in the end where I can go back to optimizing. So what you're actually doing is you're answering all of these to the best of your ability among under this time constraints. And then at the end, you top it up and you know, okay, that 15 minutes, I can finish this isometric. And you absolutely maximize your marks at the isometric or at the locus or maybe at this assembly finishing it off. Okay, that is definitely a strategy worth considering going into your final EGD paper too. So think about it, make sure you have a stopwatch or a, some form of watch next to you that you can use and track your time on it to manage your time effectively. And remember, there's a 10 minute bonus for each one of you in that reading time. Don't lay on your arms, don't stare out of the window. Make sure you read this so that you can achieve in this final paper. For more videos, please head over to the playlist section on the How to EGD um, channel. I've prepared a special second paper playlist there that's going to be worth your time watching that. Thank you so much. All of the best. Now it's your turn.